Hola veggie lovers, I'm Amelia, JP's behind the camera. Hola! Welcome to La de Veg, our plant-based cooking channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make my muy rica black bean and butternut squash stir fry. If you're joining us from our other channel, Amelia and JP, our unconventional life in Ecuador, hola unconventionals! If you're new to this channel, subscribe and ring that bell. You'll get notified on all of our upcoming cooking videos. This recipe is a variation of my black bean and acorn squash tacos. Some of the ingredients are limited now that we are living in a quarantine and we are making do, but fortunately I was able to buy an amazing butternut squash when I was in Cuenca. We finally cooked it and we have been enjoying it in several dishes and I wanted to share this one with you. I've already got all of my ingredients ready to go and JP has made the rice in our pressure cooker. Thank you, JP. <laughs> it's all ready. It's all ready. The hard part's done. <laughs> Actually, none of this is hard. This is a super quick and easy dish. JP's already got the water steaming so we can start steam frying our onion and garlic. So I think it's time to get busy. I'm going to saute two cloves of minced garlic. And we're just using water. We don't cook with oil. Yes. And I have a red onion that I have chopped. That was kind of a small one, right? Yeah, it was kind of small. And I'm just going to steam fry these until the onion is translucent, which should take three to four minutes. Mm. Yummy! All right, I am now going to add a chopped green pepper. All right, we're just going to cover this back up and steam fry for a couple more minutes. Time to check the peppers. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Are they tender? They are tender. I cooked them for a few minutes to have them nice and soft. JP likes the pepper soft. Softer. Softer, anyway. Amelia likes them raw. I like them to be a little more crisp. I'm gonna add in our black beans. I actually used dried that I had soaked and cooked previously. This is a cup and a half of black beans. You can, of course, use canned black beans. And in we go. Now I'm going to add in my spices. This is really simple. I'm using a teaspoon of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of salt. Stir all of this to combine and cover this back up and let it heat through. Since the black beans are already cooked, you just have to get everything nice and warm and let the flavors meld. Because of the quarantine, our access to fresh veggies has become questionable. So we're gonna start growing our own. We have seeds. Yeah, we're starting to save seeds and we started a composting bag. I was trying to figure out how to do a fancy composting solution. I was talking to my mom yesterday and she said, just put it in a plastic bag and roll it around the yard a couple of times. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't even think of that. And then I went outside, I told Amelia what I was doing and she said, well, we have another trash bin over there that we could use. And so we have a compost bin now. Yay. <laughs> it, was, it was so simple. <laughs> yes, I'm really excited because I love gardening anyway. I mm -hmm. love growing vegetables, so this is a good thing. Yeah, and we're gonna share our process of starting and growing our own food over on our other channel, Amelia and JP. So be sure and go check out that channel and hit subscribe while you're over there so you don't miss it, our growing food videos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I need to check our dinner. And get it finished, because I'm starving, Amelia. Okay. <laughs> Mmm, boy, this looks really good. Time for the squash? I think so. And the lime? Yes. All right, so I cooked this previously. I think I said that earlier in the video. This is a, about two cups of butternut squash that I cubed. And because it is cooked, it just needs to heat through. Wow, it smells so good. I love cumin. Oh, I know. Look how pretty this is. It's very colorful. And to this, I'm going to add in the juice of a lime. The juice of one lime? Yes. <laughs> the juice of one lime. If we had avocado, this would be really good with it, or some fresh cilantro, but we do not. But you know what? It's going to be delicious without those things. We have cilantro seeds. We can start growing our own. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised I haven't seen an avocado tree here. All right. Covering and letting the steam fry for about another minute or two, just till everything is heated through. Is it done? It's done. Is it time to eat? Wow, it looks amazing. Oh, you know what would have been good in here too? JP or jalapenos. Oh, yeah. I we forgot we some. actually have jalapenos. Well, if we didn't add them, too late now. 
We'll save those for the next dish. All right, I'm going to dish this up. Yay, dinner. <laughs> all right, let's eat. I'm a huge fan of stir fries. I make them all the time. Yeah, I'm a huge fan too. <laughs> and she makes them with different flavors. So mm -hmm. this is kind of a Mexican flavor. She does Thai, Asian, what else? I've been on a miso kick lately. Miso, Japanese. Yeah. So these are awesome. We love these. And whenever we're in a hurry, she throws them together real quick and I get to eat soon. <laughs> All right, well, let's try it, JP. Buen provecho. Buen provecho. Oh, God, it's so good. That squash is just mm. the sweet mm. with the peppery and the cumin. Mm -hmm. It's really a good combination. It's delicious. And as I mentioned, you can garnish this with some fresh cilantro, avocado, salsa. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'm out of my All salsa. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. Amelia, you need to grow me some tomatoes so I can make my salsa. No, we need <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got to get busy on our garden. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all we have for this video. Make sure to hit the subscribe so you don't miss our next one, and we'll see you all soon. Ciao. Ciao. Yay. Mmm. 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 So good. Mm-hmm.